Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Doing It Dunlap Style. Um, today, I'm going to see about see if I can get this thing started. Going to take a look at the starter. Uh, there's a seat. I didn't show that in the last video. It's not in too bad a shape, really. Uh, you can see it's jacked up around around those edges, but some back here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but. Anyway, but no, nah, it's not too bad sh shape. I'm sure I'll probably end up recovering it though. But anyway, uh, yeah, like, well, I'll just show you in the last video. That's all. It, that's all that it does. Um, before, let me get this seat out of the way. Um, before I could mess with it, rock it back and forth, see it from there. But the starter is right there. It's got two bolts holding it. I apologize for the chickens. We have chickens. But yeah, it's got two 10, milli 10 millimeter bolts in it. Um, I'm going to start by removing the air box uh i bet i bet those are 10 mill 10 millimeter also let's see take the air filter let me see what else is there looks like i got a clamp over there yeah that was held on there real good wasn't it uh, well we got it out let's take a look at this yeah, it's it's cracked right there. Cracked right there. I'm pretty sure that I ordered another one of those. Um, but other than that, other than needing to be cleaned out, the air box looks okay to me. Um, all right, so here's the starter. Um, I got a lot, yeah. <clears throat> so it's got two 10 millimeter bolts. There's one there and one there. I don't know how well you can see, but they they aren't exactly the same bolts. Like like this bolt is different from that bolt. So apparently somebody's messed with it before. But so what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now is uh, disconnect the disconnect the battery, and once I get that done, I'll get back. All right, so got the battery disconnected. Um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Yep, give me a little bit more room there. Uh, let's see. Well, that's loose, so uh, see if we can see if we can get the starter out. Hopefully, it won't be a problem. See the two different two different two different starter bolts. See the ends are different and the ends are different and then this has a washer and it has a washer on it too, but anyway. So anyway, obviously somebody's messed with it before, but that doesn't really it's not really a surprise to me being that it's a. Uh, 2002 model. Uh, let me see here if I can find 10 millimeter wrench. No luck on the 10 millimeter wrench, but isn't that the way it always is? A 
or isn't that the size, the 10 millimeter? It's like the most common, so it's the one that's always missing. Yeah, I think the I think the starter is completely snafued, broke. Um, can you see? Looks right in there. Looks like it uh, doesn't look like there's any rebuilding on this one, unless I'm mistaken. Um, like I say, I'm not familiar with these, but get you. Get you down in there. But this is where the starter goes in, right there. And I don't know, it looks like that should come out. Uh, but regardless, it, if you can see it, it looks like, pretty much looks like fresh brake. It's been, uh, it's been having issue with the starter, starting, making that noise like I said, ever since I got it, so. Yeah, I'll try to see if I can get that to come out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with it too much until I find out for sure. There's a bearing in there. Hold on, let me, uh, I've got another starter. Let me grab it. Okay, so here's the other starter. As you can see, it's got the little, I don't know what you call it, but the part that goes into the gearbox or whatever it's called over there. And see on this one, this broke off. Um, so let me, I'm going to, I'm going to work on getting that piece out, and I don't even know if this starter is good or not, but uh, but we'll uh, we may just plug, may just put it in and check it out. Um, but I'm going to work on getting I'm going to work on getting 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 that piece right there out, and then I'll come back. So, I think the best way to to uh, to get that broke off part from the starter out is to come from the other side. I've already taken these bolts out, so I wasn't really wanting to take this off yet, but maybe it's a good thing I did. Ew, that does not look good. Apparently it had, apparently it's got water in the oil. Let's see, ew, that's nasty. Good thing I hadn't run this much. Well, I think so anyway. <laughs> I, th I think it's a good thing I hadn't run it much. Suppose I'm gonna have to pull this flywheel off to finagle that out. Okay. Let me see. Huh. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this without messing anything up. Now, I guess, probably need something like a flywheel puller. 
and I don't have a flywheel puller. Let me see what I can figure out on that and we'll go from there. Hmm. Okay, so it's a couple days later. Um, yeah, it, probably about three days. Um, so uh, looking back, I took this flywheel cover there, right here. I took this flywheel cover off and a bunch of this stuff poured out. Now there's probably some PB blaster and stuff in, in there, but looks like it had some water in it possibly, that, which I'm assuming that's water. Um, based on how this has some rust and stuff on it. Um, and after I thought about it some, you know, I thought maybe the Bendix was bad and that's what the deal was. Um, and from looking at this, it, that's probably a safe bet, uh, being that it's all rusted. Anyway, we're gonna take it out anyway. Um, the starter, well, I'll talk about the starter later. Uh, I think the starter may have been fine. Pretty sure this Bendix was a problem the whole time. Uh, I think that I probably broke the starter, though. I, I'm not sure that I actually did enough of anything to break it, but or to completely break it. I kind of think maybe it was cracked beforehand, but I don't know. I mean. Maybe it was broke before and that's how the water managed to get in there. Or maybe there's a problem with the, um, with the water pump sill down here possibly. Anyway, get back to uh, getting this uh, flywheel. Or, um, I ordered a puller. I went ahead and ordered a puller to get that off. So let me see, where's it at? So this is, this, I ordered this, uh, I got it off of Amazon. There's, there's a bunch of different ones on there. Um, I normally look at reviews and stuff and this one had zero reviews, but it, let's see, can we get on that? It looks to, compared to all the other ones, it has a, uh, looks to me like it has better hardware. Anyway, let me get this, get this set up on there and, and see, uh, see what we got. So uh, I've got it, I've got it on here. And what I did was these, three bolts right here. I screwed them in until I felt them run up against something and then I backed them out a couple of turns. Um, this one right here, uh, it was, it hits, it hit bottom down on something pretty quick. So um, what I did was backed it out a couple, couple of turns and then adjusted, adjusted these two to match it. Um, making sure I had the center centered up on that shaft as best as I could and I have sprayed some PB blaster on it um, and let it and let it and I let it soak um, and then I put some more on it today about uh, three or four days later um, several hours earlier now Hopefully, this works. Uh, we'll see, I guess. About to see what the carnage looks like behind here. Maybe, if I can get this, get this off. Well, there it is. Um, 
I may have said it already 10 times, I don't know, but um, I don't know anything about these, so, and it, and it ran, I say it ran fine before, it ran, um, I think it ran okay, but, it, it, but anyway, uh, if y'all think that I should change this, what's this, stator, if I should change this out um, anyway, um, leave a comment and let me know. Uh, I, like I said, I don't know anything about them. Um, here's the here's the inside of it. Uh, it looks like it looks like there there's some damage, something messed up right there. Um, so maybe I need a new one of these also. Which, which is fine. Uh, I'll try to do some looking, but I think from looking, from this, seeing this right here, that I kind of think that I probably need need to get a replacement. Um, but we'll check it out and see. All right, back to the starter. So here's this Bendix. Um, right up in there. I need to get that piece out. All right, I got it out. Um, just like I, I use a I use a half inch drive extension, and. Uh, And one of uh, one of these, uh, I can't even I can't even remember what kind of, what those hammers are called now. But um, anyway, but that's where it broke off from the original starter. Um, it, see if that'll focus. I don't know how well you can see it, but that looks to me like. It looks like a new break. Uh, excuse me. Looks to me like a new break and not an old break, which leads me to believe that I did it. But that's why. Uh, that's why I call it um, call this channel doing it dumb out style because that's pretty much my style. Screw something up and screw something up while trying to fix it and create more problems. Hopefully I won't do that too much. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'll put the new starter in, but also, or I don't have a new starter. I have a, I have a new used starter, but uh, being that I thought that that Bendix was bad, and if I'm calling it wrong, um, feel free to correct me, but, but being that I thought this was bad before I ever even took that cover off and that was, that was actually a total surprise to me when I took that cover off, when I took that cover off and all of this spilled out of it. But anyway, being that I originally thought that there was something wrong with the Bendix, I had ordered another one and I can't even remember. I can't remember what brand this is, but uh, I don't know if these need anything other than just being thrown in. I mean, as far as lubrication goes, but being that I've got my dirty hands all over it, I'll have to wipe it off and, or, or I will wipe it off and clean up where I got it dirty before I put it in. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna put this back on like it, like it is, and uh, put it back together just to see if it'll run. Anyway, that, we're gonna work on that. Okay, so 
if y'all happen to know, I can, I, should, I guess I could look at the manual or look on YouTube or just do an internet search. But um, if y'all happen to know if these need uh, any kind of lubrication, oil, grease, whatever, if you drop a comment, let me know. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Um, this is just nasty now. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to this. If y'all happen to know if it needs any kind of lubrication, please let me know. Um, yeah, I think that, uh, I think for sure that I'm definitely going to just, uh, see if I can't find another used flywheel to to put on here uh, I think that would be the best thing to do I'm gonna put this uh, Woodruff key back in this is my first time ever messing with one or I say I'm gonna put it back in. I'm gonna try to put it back in. And then I'm going to line this up with it, hopefully. Okie doke. You definitely might, before you go, go crazy with your impact or drill or whatever, you want to make sure that you didn't cross thread it. Um, Always make sure you get it on there a few threads. A, th a few threads first. You know, get it started like that. You can run it on down if you want to. But make sure it's not cross threaded before you put some power to it. And I'm sure there's a torque for that, but. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna replace this anyway. All right, so I did this off off camera, but um, if you can see, I put I just put some grease around there on the O-ring so that it would go go in easier. Probably you may you probably don't have to do it. Maybe you don't have to do that, but I just did it because this is a supposedly good starter uh, but it's used right. I'm also gonna see if I can't order the see if I can't order the right the correct bolts for for this see if I can't do some persuading on it oh look at that got that one started like I said earlier you want to make sure that you get them started by hand before you go putting too much too much muscle on them um yeah how I got the, the old starter to work before which was probably just coincidence or luck however you want to say it um was I loosened these loosened both of those bolts off and uh got it and and, and I moved the starter around and I didn't tighten the bolts back all the way and 
I'm thinking maybe when the starter torqued, um, just it, it just cracked right right around there where it goes into this, uh, and possibly that's that's how I broke it. Um, I don't know for sure, but. I'm thinking I'm thinking I did it Dunlap style and broke it. Alright, hook the I'm gonna hook the power wire back up, positive wire. And I don't even know if this starter works or not to be honest. Never tried it. I do however have a starter rebuild kit. That's supposed to work for it. Or that's supposed to be for this starter. Uh, let me get the wrench. That uh, looks to be tight enough. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the torque specs on the starter bolts, but um, like I said, I'm gonna see if I can't get the get the correct bolts for it anyway. So I'm gonna replace, be replacing them, or I plan on replacing them. Definitely make sure it's tight, but you don't want to tighten it so much that you strip them out or even worse, crack the case or the mounting tabs on the starter. Um, anyway, yeah, so let's hook the battery back up. Actually, let me set, pull this out right quick. That Super start. I was wondering. I was looking in, wondering why it was sitting in there, lopsided. Um, but the battery, this battery is bigger than what it came with from the factory, and it's plastic. Plastic, so shouldn't be. It's not gonna spark or arc or anything. Here we are again. Uh, back. This is the next day. Uh, another thing I figured out was that majority of these flywheel cover bolts are stripped. That one's not. Get on there. So that one is. And I didn't do it. It was all right. All I did was unbolt them. That one's not stripped. That one's stripped, that one's stripped, that one's not. I haven't checked that one. That one's not. This one is. These screws down here, they're not stripped. But anyway, that's one reason. One reason you need to know your torque specs when you're tightening bolts down. Um, and I should take my own advice, right? Uh, but when I went putting this back on, I was just going to snug it up, and I found that those were were stripped out. Um, but anyway, uh, what the di trying to get it started earlier or on yesterday when I was messing with, it, I was trying to get it started, and it didn't want to start. And I was like, "Well, what's wrong with this thing?" Because it ran before. Well. It helps if you have gas in the gas in the gas tank, but anyway, let's see. Let's see. Hopefully, it'll fire up, and I won't be a liar. Thank you. 
runs. Uh, before I ever even started messing with it, it ran better than that. Uh, not sure what the problem is with it bogging. Maybe the air leaks, possibly, I don't know. Um, but we'll figure that out later. It's a, it's a project. If you have any ideas, let me know. Uh, I'll look at it, but anyway, that's, uh, that's going to be it for, that's going to be it for now. Um, we'll catch you in the next video. Y'all be good.